Pollyanna Botello versus Ji Young Kim in the flyweight division. If I am saying that last name correct, 32 years old and 33 years old. So not too much of an age advantage right there. The height's very even, but the reach, oh my god, the reach. Ji Young Kim having a five inch reach advantage over Pollyanna Botello. Absolutely insane. Now let's talk the actual prediction. Ji Young Kim is going to be the better boxer, in my opinion. She's going to be tall, uh, not, not taller. She's going to be lengthy than Pollyanna Botello. She's going to be a little bit more powerful in terms of the hands than Pollyanna Botello. Really good jab, really good one-two. That's really all she kind of does. Keeps her guard high, kind of like Petrion, and just jabs one-twos. That's really all Ji Young Kim does. Coming off of two losses with Alexa Grasso, a ranked fighter in the flyweight division, and Molly McCann, the pressure machine. Absolutely insane fight there. Uh, but if she wants to win the fight, if Ji Young Kim is going to win, it's going to be just keeping the fight at range and not grappling, not wrestling, not doing any of that type of stuff, keeping the fight on the feet, and just pressuring Pollyanna. With the reach advantage, she can sneak that jab in a lot in the fight, landing a lot of volume with that jab, a lot of one-twos, and all that type of stuff. That would be how Ji Young Kim will win the fight, how Pollyanna Botello is going to win the fight. The grappling is, is not that good. I mean, she has moments where she can land a takedown here and there. She has moments where her takedown defense are good, where her grappling looks good. She's not very consistent in the wrestling and grappling. That's why I don't really see the wrestling and grappling really playing that big of a factor from either girl. Pollyanna's... Maybe she'll have a slight wrestling and grappling advantage, but not enough to where she's going to be taking down Ji Young Kim and dominating the fight or anything like that. So this one will stay on the feet. Pollyanna probably going to be the better kicker, better leg kicking, better body kicking, all that type of stuff. Just the overall better Muay Thai than Ji Young Kim. So um, that could play a factor into her landing the more powerful shots in terms of the body case and high case and things of that nature. But overall, the volume of Ji Young Kim... The judges' scorecards are going to see that. They're going to see Jion Kim landing 1.5 to 2 times the, the amount of volume on Pollyanna Botello, keeping the fight at range, and she's just going to use that to win the fight by decision. So it's going to be a decent striking uh, striking fight here, uh, some decent exchanges here and there. If Pollyanna Botello wants to win, it needs to be coming forward and throwing the most powerful case she can possibly throw, and just going crazy. The only way you're going to beat a girl like Jion Kim is if you pressure her a lot like Alexa Grasso did, or if you just put on crazy, crazy pace, which I don't think Pauline Botello is going to be able to do. So the fight will stay on the feet for three rounds. It will be a decision. In my prediction, Jion Kim will win in the fight by decision right there. I'm going to go a 29-28. Really good fight in the women's flyweight division.